In this video, I'll show you how to display data from an array in Adaptive Card while building Copilot Studio Agent. So let's jump into the demo and I'll give you some context around it. So I have this agents, uh, list of agents in copilotstudio.microsoft.com. So let me go into the home page and go into agents. And here you will be able to see all the agents which I have created using Copilot Studio. Now, what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to uh, open one of the agents, say Cricket agent. And here I'm going to display the data from arrays in Adaptive Card. Now for that, we may need to create a topic. So let's go ahead and create a topic. And the topic will be about maybe player name. So I'll just click on add a topic from blank. And here I will call this as players profile. And this topic will be triggered when user says players. So if the user says players, then this topic should trigger. Now here, what we are going to do, we are going to make use of a variable. So we are going to click on variable management and maybe set a variable value. So let's create a variable. So we'll select a variable, create new. And the variable name, we can call this as var player. But maybe just call it as var players. Now, in this, uh, we will be putting some information about the players. Now, first, let's go ahead and create a JSON code or an array, basically. Uh, which will have uh, all this player's information. So we'll just pick up one information. So I'll just call it as where player. So we'll just put one information uh, about the player. So example would be, let's go into the VS code. And here I have a JSON file, which I have. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to just type in some data. So the first one is I want the name of the player. So I'll just call it as name and i'll just call it as uh, say steve smith so this is a player information and steve smith may have his id uh, let me put his age as 30 so age 30 and maybe i'll have his email address uh, so steve at ca.com.au and this is just like a high level information about Steve, but then I can type in some other information like uh, the matches played, right? So maybe I will just say matches. Now matches, like here I got automatically the details like opponent is India, score is 100, and when did it happen? Opponent is England, score 75, date is this. Now like that, I can create a uh, different uh, information so i'll just do a tap and then it will pick up the the information over here now i'll just close this one this was an extra and maybe i'll put a couple of other data as well so let me put one more data and then opponent is uh, new zealand and i'll just put wickets as two we score 150 so this is some some random data so what i wanted to show you is i have this one record of that person and then I have this array and then if I want to show that in Ecopilot Studio agent interface then how can I see those information so so in the Copilot Studio uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this piece of JSON data now before I copy it don't just copy it directly from VS code because that might lead to some error what you need to do is like you need to minify this JSON so for that, I have installed an extension, JSON Minify. Now you can uh, uh, implement your own extension or maybe you can use something else. Uh, the shortcut is Alt-M. So I'll go over here and Minify my extension, uh, Minify my JSON using the extension. So Alt-M and now it has been minified. So I'll just, it will remove all the blank spaces and all. It will remove all the formatting. Now, if you want to go back to the formatting, you can just do right click and do a format document and it will return back to the same state. So I'll just minify it and now I'll copy the data in my Copilot Studio 
interface. So this is my set variable value. Now, if you see over here, this data is currently set. Now the next step, what I'm gonna do, I have got the data. Now I need to pass this. So variable management parse value. So this is the variable where player has this information. So I'll parse this where player parse value data type. Now I don't know the data type. What I can do, I can either select record or maybe I can go into from sample data, get schema from sample JSON, paste the schema, confirm it, and then you will be able to see. Now save as, select as a variable. Now we need to create a new variable over here. Now I'll call this variable as where player profile. So that's the profile information of the player. Now here, uh, this is the name. And as you see, this is of type record. Now I need to show that in an adaptive card. So for that, I will use send a message. I won't use ask with adaptive card because I don't want to ask anything. I just want to display that in an adaptive card format. So I'll click on send a message. And from here, add adaptive card. Now in the adaptive card interface, I need to uh, go into the JSON card and I can select formula from here. Now here we will start formulating this adaptive card. So I'll I'll just type in the raw code, okay, just to show you how uh, it can be done. Now, first thing we need to show in the body, right? So if you see here in the body, we need to type in something. Now, the first thing we are gonna type is the type as, so this is the syntax. So you just put an open and close bracket. And here you just type in the type. Now, what you want to show? So I want to show a text block. Now we are going to copy this text block uh, at multiple places. So I'm just writing text block. And here I can type in whatever text I want. So text colon. And I will put, say, player information. Now, as we have only one player, so this is this would suffice for us. So I'll put player information. And then if I want to make it look uh, bolder, I can type in the weight and I will just say weight colon uh, whatever is the uh, available option. So in this case, I've, I'll make it bolder. And if I want to make it uh, look larger, so I can just say size colon larger. I'm showing you different ways through which you can type in those adaptive card based information. So this is how the player information tag will be sh shown. Now we can test this input. Uh, just by going off and uh, before I do that first what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put one more text block so I'll just copy whatever content I have typed over here so that I need not type it again so type text block now instead of the player information I will just show name so this is just uh, name of the player now we have one record which is Steve Smith now, how to show that uh, is uh, maybe I will not put the size as larger. I can put size as medium because that's the content of the data, right? Now, here in the name, I need to show Steve Smith, right? So I will append the text and I will reference topic variable. So topic dot. So as you see, I got the intelligence. So topic dot and it will give you the player profile. Right? So this is the record set information. And what I want out of it, I want name. So I get the name. So I can get email and other things over here. Now this is the, just the name. Now I can save this information. Now what I'll do is what I want from the data is I want the name and maybe I, I will just display name and I will display maybe opponent and score. Now opponent and score, remember it's like a sub table, right? Because one player can have multiple data. So I need to show three information. Now how this can be shown is with the help of a uh, for each kind of a system, right? So for that, uh, we cannot use text block. So what we need to do, yes, we need to use text block, but then we need to wrap it with something else. So for that, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use, type as a container. So I'll just say type colon container. 
now within a container i need to show items right so i will just type in items and within that item i need to iterate right i need to get all the data so for that there is a syntax of for all so i'll use for all and i will then make use of topic variables topic dot where player profile dot i need to get the matches right because uh, depending on how many matches the player has played now from where this matches is coming is if i go into the code this is that matches because matches has all these different objects right opponent score wickets so let's iterate through the matches comma and then i will put a curly brace and then iterate through the content remember you need to close the curly brace and also you need to close the bracket now this is how the code will look like now here within the items let's iterate through the block so for that i will just copy this text block uh, maybe i'll just copy say this spot and i can paste it over here so maybe let's just put text information as of now so i'll just paste the text block and within the text block i will uh, put the text as opponent because I want to show opponent and the score so opponent is someone and then I need to show the score as well so I will just append and maybe I'll just put a uh, separator and then just type in score and then I need to show the dynamic content as well. So opponent, who's the opponent? Uh, I'll put an ampersand over here and then I will be able to extract the opponent. So I get the opponent. Similarly, I need to show the score as well. So I'll just say ampersand and then it should show me the score. And this is how you can build. You can put uh, other details as well, but just for this demonstration i just want to show you first you are putting a header which is just a simple text then you get the dynamic content name with the player and also iterating through the opponent scores and other parameters so all good uh, if you have uh, done this way uh, output looks good you just go close this or maybe click out click on save and if everything is green it should allow you to save if there is an error, it will show you some error over here. Now, uh, it says invalid value larger for property size. So there is an error. So if I click over here, I can see that there is size as larger. So there's nothing called as size larger, but just size large. So all good. Now I'll click on save. Now, as you see over here, this information looks good let me run this and type in players now the moment i type in players i should be able to see the content in a adaptive card format as you see i got this response so i got a player information which is a header then we have a name steve smith and then steve smith has played with different opponents you have three records so what essentially we have done we have created a data set over here data set is hierarchical so you have a root and then you have child component within it and we have iterated through the child component using a uh, for all function and then we have rendered this content in an adaptive card format now remember uh, this can be your any raw data within your application so if you have those kind of data in an array format you can iterate through the component and then show it in a in an adaptive card so that's it folks this is how you can basically use adaptive card create that custom template and then render the information in a hierarchical fashion thanks for watching